Fox. We all know that. After all, it is home to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and countless artists. But did you know the city's first ever black-owned recording studio is nestled away in the Mount Pleasant neighborhood? I did not know. Mm -hmm. Now the family behind it is working to designate the space as a historic landmark and further celebrate its accomplishments. Or Mike Holden joins us now in the studio with more on the efforts and really why it's so important to preserve this history. Guys, it's crazy to think, too, like this is minutes away. Right. We've been sitting on this for so long and had no idea. But after you see this story, you're going to be like, I need to go check that out. Now, it's no secret the Bodies made a name for themselves over the years. Their recording studio was convenient and affordable, bringing in a melting pot of talent over time. The Black-owned business broke down barriers and inspired others to achieve their dreams. Located at 12202 Union Avenue, you'll find history and soul in real form. Black and white photograph after photograph, capturing the memories and talent of decades past. They record The Temptations, Sonny and Cher, Ike and Tina Turner, The, the Kinks, the, the list goes on. Lou Rawls came here. He was down at Leo, so he came out. It is the home of the former Bodie Recording Company, where the late Thomas Bodie and his wife Louise made music their passion. They launched several labels and pressed thousands of records here, a true dream team. We just kind of worked hand in hand, doing different things, and we recorded in the building behind me. R&B, country, rock and roll, and soul were all recorded. Artists traveling from near and far to make their mark in the industry. They called us Little Nashville for a while. <laughs> the Bodie Recording Company is Cleveland's first black-owned recording studio. The couple paving the way for African-American entrepreneurs and artists during a time when all odds were stacked against them, including the Huff riots as well as nationwide racial division. Dennis applauding his parents' courage and work ethic. He reads about their drive from the pages of this book, Chasing Sound by Susan Schmidt Horning. As African-American entrepreneurs, the Bodies face formidable obstacles in attempting to build their business in racially troubled Cleveland. We got this place. He turned it into a studio. I remember him laying the bricks and the foundations to put the boiler and the pressing plant back in the back. Ward 4 Councilwoman Deborah Gray says the Bodies deserve recognition and praise. She and the family are now working to designate the space as a historic city landmark and educational center for the next generation. And it's a place where people will learn about uh, musical history, about the, uh, uh, um, about the recording studio, about all the, uh, all the entertainers and the singers. This is my parents' dream, and dreams should be lived to flourishing. And that's the goal, too. The history in that piece, too. You think, oh, my gosh, all of this happening in Cleveland, which is so amazing. Dennis says he would love to make the space a museum at some point. But it's important to note, too, to designate this as a landmark, various committees need to approve it. Ultimately, city council has to green light it. Mike, Danita, they're working through the process. But as you heard in the story right there, how do you say no to something? How do you like say that? no? You like, who would turn that down? Yeah. yeah. But can you imagine not only like putting their heart and soul into this, keeping the family history going, the mm -hmm. legacy, and then it's such a gem here in our community right. as well. Right. And, oh. the, and, and the, the talent that passed through here over the years, like Ike and Tina, Sonny and Cher, like it, it's the mind The stories blowing. are amazing. Yeah. And yeah. Lou Rawls, you'll never find. Ding, 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 ding. I'm the only one who knows Microphone. Lou Rawls. Am I the only one? Okay. Yeah. Once again, come on, viewers, help them out. Help them out. I know. The Lou Rawls, Rawls. just went. Pew. Okay. All right. I, 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 I felt the talent Did there. You in that. I it wanted though? you to have the moment, and Thank I didn't you, want Mike. to Thank you, Mike. Thank you. You felt the vibrato. That you was good. That? It came from like down it came here down to the diaphragm. Up. Diaphragm. Yep. Right, oh. there, right Thank there. Thank you. Thank don't you, Mike. Don't steal your spotlight. All right. Let's get it out to Trent.